NTFS permissions offer a great deal of control when it comes to setting and controlling who has access to which resources on your system. We'll examine NTFS permissions by launching File Explorer and we'll do that by hitting our Start key, typing in File and in the search result we'll see File Explorer. I'll go ahead and click on File Explorer to launch it. Within File Explorer we'll notice that we have a number of volumes available to us. In this case I'll go ahead and choose the empty volume that I have configured, new volume, and I'll see that there is nothing in this volume yet. I'll go ahead and create a new folder. And I'll do that by right clicking in the empty space, choosing new from the menu and choosing folder. I'll give this folder a name, specifically sales. As the sales folder is created, I'll right click on the folder and choose to display the folder properties. In the sales properties, screen I can see general, sharing, security, previous versions and customize. In this case we'll go ahead and click on security. We can see the permissions which are allocated to this folder by default. As we scroll through this list we can see that users have got different types of control. As we click on one user and scroll through that list we can see the permissions list change. I'm going to go ahead and click on edit and I'll click on add. I will add a group which I have created earlier, in this case the sales group, type in the name of the group and click on check names. Go ahead and click on OK and we can see that sales by default is allocated read and execute, list folder contents and read. I'm able to allow or deny specific rights to any user or any group which I add in at this point. I can unselect the default permissions and I can set a explicit deny to modify. And we can see that if I deny and modify, a number of other rights are automatically affected. We'll go and untick those and see what the effect is when we choose a specific right, such as write. If I only select to deny write, but I allow read, then we can see that I have a, a viable combination of NTFS rights. I'll go ahead and untick deny and click on read and execute and I can see that read and execute automatically allocates the list folder contents and the read permission. I'll go ahead and choose to add the write permission as well. We can see that with NTFS permissions we can at a very granular level allocate specific rights to users and groups and thereby allow or restrict the rights which users have to files and folders.